Hi everyone, I'm Isabella and I work on the community team here at Etsy. I'm so excited to be your host for today's session about enhancing customer service. We've got a lot of insightful info to share and you'll also see examples from our seller community. But first, let's talk about why providing great customer service is a critical element for running a small business. When it's done well, you create a positive shopping experience and help build trust, which can lead to repeat purchases and buyer loyalty. Customer service is especially important during the busy holiday season, when there's a lot more traffic throughout the marketplace, and for new and returning customers visiting your shop. We know that as an Etsy seller, you work hard to ensure a reliable shopping experience for your buyers. The updated customer service stats page in Shop Manager makes it easy to see at a glance how your shop's performing in relation to key areas that reflect Etsy's customer service standards, along with how you're tracking in relation to Star Seller. You can find the customer service stats page in Shop Manager. Today, we'll discuss the four components that make up this page along with tips for providing a great customer experience. The four components are average review rating, message response rate, on-time shipping and tracking, and case rate. Excelling in these areas helps drive shopper confidence, create a great customer experience, and bring buyers back again and again. That's why shops that consistently follow Etsy's customer service standards for these components over a three month review period are prioritized in search on Etsy. It's also why going above and beyond these standards can help you earn a star seller badge, which serves as a further trust signal to buyers and can drive increased conversion for your shop. Okay, let's dig into the first customer service component, average review rating. Reviews let buyers know what to expect when they shop with you. And good reviews help buyers feel more confident completing a purchase. Star ratings of four or five can also help attract new buyers and keep them coming back to your shop. And it's no wonder why. For example, I love this glowing review of a stained glass piece created by seller Danny Bauer. The review says, this is quite possibly the most beautiful thing I own. It shipped so quickly and was so well packaged and protected. Thank you so much. You can find this item listed in her shop, which is called Glassy Leaf. It is so encouraging to see that a shop has positive reviews when I'm shopping online, especially when I'm considering something that could be more tricky to ship. Here's another great example where the seller Janice Deckman clearly made a lasting impression on her buyer and even a potential repeat customer. The review says, Janice was such a pleasure to shop with. Great communication, super friendly and helpful. I absolutely love the trout and will shop with her again. Highly recommend. Now let's take a closer look at how average review rating is reflected in the customer service stats page. For this service standard, we have two tiers based on the volume of reviews you get during a three month review period. Shops with less than 40 reviews should have no more than four three star or lower reviews per period. For shops with more than 40 reviews, three-star or lower reviews should be less than 10% of their average reviews for the period. Low reviews happen, so don't be too hard on yourself if you get one. But it's also important that you don't let it go unaddressed. Take the time to read through a critical review and see if there's anything you can improve upon for your next customer. Here are two common things to consider for reviews. First, Evaluate your listings for quality, completeness, and accuracy. Check out your search visibility dashboard for quick insights on listing quality. Second, keep your order processing schedule up to date so you can meet buyer expectations and ship orders on time. As a seller myself, I've found that there's something to learn from pretty much every single sale and interaction. And there are so many great resources in the seller handbook and in the Etsy community spaces to tap into when there's an area to work on. Now let's move on to the next factor in your customer service stats page, message response rate. Responding to customer messages in a timely manner creates a better shopping experience and ensures your customers get the answers they need to help them confidently make a purchase from your shop. Responding to at least 80% of initial messages within 48 hours is Etsy's customer service standard. 
Similar to Star Seller, Etsy only looks at the first message within a thread and messages sent through your autoresponder when assessing response rate. And don't worry, it excludes any messages in your from Etsy inbox, as well as spam. All right, we've made our way to the third factor in the customer service stats page, and that's on-time shipping and tracking. To help meet buyers' expectations and needs, it's important to fulfill and ship orders on time. Etsy's service standard is to ship at least 80% of orders on time within the review period. Shipping on time means your order is handed off to a shipping partner and you've marked it as complete on Etsy by your order's ship by date. This factor doesn't affect your search ranking right now, but it's still important to meet this standard to give buyers a positive experience. Shipping at least 95% of your orders on time with tracking will earn you a smooth shipping star seller badge, which is a great way to stand out to shoppers. Let's hear from Tiffany of the Etsy shop Halen Florals, who's got some great shipping advice to share with us today. Hi, I'm Tiffany. My Etsy shop is Halen Florals. I just wanted to give you some tips of what I do to ship out my wreaths to my customers. Come package a Christmas winter wreath with me that we'll be shipping out tomorrow. I already have the white ties inside the box and these will help keep the wreath safe and secure during shipment. The wreath is now nice and secure so there won't be any movement and this will help prevent any damaging during shipment. Then I like to add tissue paper just to give a nice touch to the packaging. And then I'll add the customer's receipt along with unboxing instructions. Now I'll fold up the box and then I'll tape everything down. And the next thing I'll do is add the shipping label and then it's ready to go. Another tip is I love using Etsy ship by date. Because I offer different size wreaths in my Etsy shop, I have different processing times. So some I have that are one to three business days, some that are three to five business days, and others are five to seven business days. And with using the ship by date, it helps me stay organized knowing which wreath needs to go out by a certain time. So this helps me make sure that my customers get their wreaths in the time that they expect it. So um, I just wanted to give you those tips and I wish you the best of luck with your Etsy shop and much success. Wow, I am so impressed to hear about your shipping success. Thank you for sharing those tips. Here are some additional ways to keep your on-time percentage high and ensure your customers have a great fulfillment experience. Review your listing and processing times and order processing schedule including your weekend preferences, and keep them up to date to ensure that buyers see accurate shipping times. If something happens that will impact when you can fulfill an order, keep customers in the loop and update your ship by dates to reflect delays. Skip the lines at the post office by purchasing shipping labels on Etsy if they're available in your country. Add carrier tracking so customers can follow along as their order is in transit. Tracking is included automatically if you purchase your shipping labels on Etsy. And last but not least, mark orders as complete once the package is handed off to the carrier. If you buy your shipping labels on Etsy, your order is automatically marked as complete. Okay, so we've covered three very important components of customer service so far. Reviews, response rate, and order fulfillment. Let's look at the fourth and final component shown in the customer service stats page seller-funded case rate. Seller-funded case rate is used as an indicator of good customer service on Etsy. And we've included it in the customer service stats page so you can have even more visibility into this important component. Cases can occur when something goes wrong with an order on Etsy. As a first step, Etsy always encourages buyers to work with the seller first to resolve the issue. If you can't reach a resolution, buyers will sometimes ask Etsy to step in by opening a case. To meet the case rate service standard, for shops with less than 300 orders, during the review period, you should have no more than three cases resulting in a case refunded from your account. For shops with 300 or more orders during the review period, you should have less than 1% of your orders resulting in a case refunded from your account. It's important to note that for this standard, only cases where a refund is taken from your payment account will apply. If you meet the requirements for Etsy's Purchase Protection Program coverage, the case won't be counted. And we'll also exclude cases for orders more than $250, 
or your country's currency equivalent. Need some tips to help keep your case rate low? First, ensure you have accurate and high quality listings. Add tracking and ship on time to qualify for Etsy's Purchase Protection Program. Set accurate processing times for estimated delivery dates. Respond to buyer messages promptly. And of course, provide good customer service throughout. Well, that wraps up our tour of the four parts of the customer service stats page. Help increase your buyer's loyalty with strong average review ratings, prompt message response rates, on-time shipping and tracking, and low case rates. On the first of every month, we'll let you know how your shop is performing against these standards. And throughout the month, you can access your customer service stats page through Shop Manager to see your progress. Remember, once you meet Etsy's customer service standards, you can always go above and beyond to become a star seller and earn those badges. These serve as additional trust signals to buyers and can drive increased conversion for your shop. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you found the insights and seller strategies useful and feel empowered to use this information to level up your customer service and keep buyers coming back for more. Thanks.